What's up? This me. It's your boy Asmongold. And today, we're continuing the Solo Glory of the Pandaria Hero Achievement Guide series. And we are in Gate of the Setting Sun. And we are going to do Bomberman. And just to review the achievement, let's go ahead and open that up. Should have had that opened up before I started this, but I forgot. Basically what it is, is you have to trigger 15 explosions within 15 seconds during the uh, first encounter. So this is actually an achievement that's e in, in a lot of ways easy to do solo. Um, he, he, uh, he triggers all, he, he sets off all the bombs two times. Um, 66 and 33 percent. Might be 60 and 40. It doesn't really matter. So um, basically the way this works is he's going to set out, um, he puts out three or four bombs at a time and what you're trying to do is make sure that you don't set them off until there's a lot in the, um, what's it called? A lot in the map. See, there's two, let's see, six, seven, so we need a little bit more and that's three more so that's ten. Okay, as you can see that was fifteen. Sorry, ten. So we're gonna have to uh, get a few more than that. I'm gonna slow down DPS, see what happened there as I uh, I triggered one. Or no, sorry, I pushed him over and he triggered it. Whoop. That was bad luck. He put it right on top of me. Uh, some of that stuff can happen but it's usually not that big of a deal. Let me just put, you want to position yourself to where you're not going to blow up the bombs. Obviously. Just trying to get right in here. This is kind of annoying. Alright, so we've got seven up right now. Yep. And I'm good for this one. Hopefully that won't blow it up. Oh, it did. Luckily, it did, that didn't blow up all of them. So I got lucky there. And I'm trying to get into position. I think this looks like it's pretty good for me. Maybe a little bit over. And K didn't set off any bombs. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So if I can just... That'll be it. Because that's 15. And usually they will trigger themselves off. See, that one will trigger the other one. And it, it's kind of a chain reaction, if you know what I mean. I'm just going to set off some of them right here. Hopefully not die, oh my god. Ah, uh, just... Waiting for all of these to set themselves off. I'm going to get right in the middle here. It's kind of annoying to do sometimes. There we go. Whoa. That's, this is what it looks like whenever you get the achievement right, pretty much. And that was definitely over 15. And so anyway, that's really all it takes to do. It's just kind of annoying, but uh, it's really not a difficult achievement, especially if you've got it tracked. Uh, it'll just if you if you're tracking it, I'm fairly certain that it will tell you if you're getting it or not. And you can always have people counting. So anyway. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one, which I think is Conscriptinator. Not a lot of people know how to do that one. Okay, uh, this actually isn't for an achievement, but I actually died on this boss. So I figured I'd make a video on how to not be like me. So, um, this boss does an ability called Impaling Strike, and Impaling Strike deals 50% of your health. So, um, and he also does a bombing run at 66 and 33 percent. So my strategy this time is going to be I'm going to try and stay above 30, uh, I'm going to try and stay at about 60 percent health or a little bit higher and pop a cooldown right as he charges me every time. And so we're going to see how that works out for me. Still going to chase him a little bit. Just get some damage on him. And now I'm going to get away from him right now. And I'm going to heal myself up with these mobs with Victory Rush. And I'm at full health. So I'm completely ready for the next Impaling Strike. I fucking hate this game. Um, 
And so he's going to charge me, uh, do this pray time thing, and then he's going to hit me for about like 400k. Oh, there's Impaling Strike. As you can see, it did 365% of my health. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and at least get him to 0% health, but that's not going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the same thing again and try and heal up with these monsters. Try and hit him with this victory rush right as he jumps by. Got it. Okay. And shield wall to negate the damage. And oh, I did 230, 219k, and he's dead. So make sure you have a cooldown up for that. Uh, it does a lot of damage or makes sure you're at full health. Anyway, back to the achievements. Okay, here we are. Here we are doing Conscriptinator. How you get Conscriptinator is basically uh, these ads, they, uh, whenever they die, they leave a pool. And this pool, what's it called? Just a second, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank here. Um, this pool gives you a stack of acid residue, I think that's what it's called. Um, let me make sure I have the right name for that. Um, resin residue. And so you have to get three stacks. Big surprise, there's three adds. The adds actually do a pretty significant amount of damage. And I think that the debuff lasts for one minute. So you have to do about five, five million damage in one minute. So as you can see, they're only doing like 20,000 damage. It's really not a big deal and they don't really do anything. I also do that, which makes them do more damage. Uh, I think I did this on like the second the second or third day of the expansion, and it was actually kind of hard to do then. But as you can see as you can see now I'm soloing it, so it's really not um, really not very hard. And about to see the acid residue, and they, they uh, get, do more damage over time. So you can see I'm taking like 50k, and I have acid. Oh, it's okay. It takes for two, for um, it, it it's two minutes. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier. Um, as you can see, I I didn't really have any trouble killing him, but uh, if you have low DPS, this could be difficult to do. Uh, these are not really stunnable or anything like that, so uh, it's it's not like you can just fuck around. But I'm obviously like staying alive, no problem. And um, I think if if you die to these or something like that, you can reset the instance, uh, and the they will respawn. But don't quote me on that. Uh, I think you can probably look that up on the internet, and you can find out the answer. But I just don't really know off the top of my head. And as you can see, I have 30 seconds left, and the second one is dead. Not a big deal. And um, it says uh, you take 200% resin burst. Um, if I remember correctly, resin burst is the thing that they cast as they, um, what's it called? Resin, yeah, resin burst is the thing that they cast whenever they gain an enraged deck. So that is what, uh, that's what it is, but it's still not really doing that much more damage, honestly. Not really a big deal. Like, what, how, I don't know how much I absorb from that. Uh, 30k, so not a big deal. And three stacks, and I have three stacks of resin residue, and so if I needed the achievement, I would have just gotten it right there. So as you can see, this achievement is not very hard to do. Um, it will be hard to do, however, if you don't have, you're not either very durable or have a way to, uh, I guess, like not take, not take a lot of damage from these monsters and kill them quickly. And you need to kill three of them, each one has five million health. And you know, I would cut right here, but the last boss is just right here. So we're just going to do that shit right now. Basically, um, uh, let me go ahead and just read this again, just so... I don't mess it up. Okay, Manted Swarm. Uh, defeat without killing any of the Manted Reinf- Oh, shit, shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. Almost died. Um, anyway, you just have to not kill his adds. So that's really not a big deal. Um, I'll show you. I love doing this fight. This is like one of my favorite fights to do. 
Um, so first thing I'm going to do is as soon as he headbutts, you get in this uh, this little artillery thing. You can target the weak spot before you even get in. And you just go right to it and just start DPSing it down. It's only got 3 million health, so it's going to die very quickly. Uh, the protectorates are what you're not supposed to kill, and any ad that spawns in the encounter outside of Rygon. So then as soon as he dies, uh, that dies, oh, you do the big DPS. Watch this motherfucking shit. Oh my god, 400 million. Oh! Yes. Fucking 600. I love, the, I love this fight so much. Oh, I would have got the achievement too, because it didn't kill any ads. So as you can see, this is really not a big deal. Um, there are a couple different ads that can spawn. I guess I might as well talk about that. Um, there's Swarmbringer, which is like your uh, just general uh, melee monster that casts a debuff on you. The debuff is not really that big of a deal. Um, there are little ads that spawn in the air, and then there are the little baby ads. Uh, the baby ads enrage when they're at 20% health, but you don't want them to be at 20% health because you're doing an achievement where they don't die. Anyway, that's all it takes for these achievements. These are pretty easy to do. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.